All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special video for you guys. Last time I posted was like, it's like a, it was like a month ago. But as you can tell, you know what I'm saying? I'm back. Some people on TikTok were asking me about where I get my shoes, where I get my hats. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I've, I've been on my, I've been on my streaming in TikTok grind, so I haven't had time to cop new hats, new shoes, new hoodies. I just cop them as. I go places, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you guys most of my shoes, most of my hats, and then a little bit of my hoodies. Let's get into it. Let's run. Alright, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I forgot all the names of these shoes. So for the sneaker heads that are watching, don't get all my head in the comments, alright? Hang off my meat. For starting. These shoes right here, I think, I'm pretty sure they're called Shadow Grays, Gray Shadow, Gray, Shadow Grays, I'm pretty sure. I got this about one, one or two years ago. I barely ever wear these anymore. I honestly don't know why. I don't know why. People, people wonder why I don't wear these shoes. Jordan 1s are my favorite pair of uh, Jordan shoes. I wanted to start collecting like a whole bunch of pairs. I think I only have like, I think I only have like three or four pairs of Jordan ones, but I want to start collecting more colorways of these. Any shoe plugs that are watching this, you know. Plug your, plug your guy, plug your guy right here. Oh, I almost forgot. All of these shoes are either I bought, my parents bought, or they were passed down to me by my pops. Shout out pops. I'm not gonna lie and say I bought all these shoes myself, cause I didn't, I'm, I'm, I'm 19 years old. I don't make enough money to buy my own shoes. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So my next shoe, these are Jordan 1 mid tops. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be wrong, but I think they're called gray hairs. I'm just gonna say they're gray hairs or Bugs Bunny, cause you see the, you see the bunny on the tongue. I started wearing these out more, just cause like, I like, I, I mess with the colorway and I like the red bottoms. Red bottoms are pretty fine, I ain't gonna lie. I only wear these if I'm wearing pants. Like mo like mostly all my Jordan all most blah, 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 blah. most of my Jordan ones I only wear pants with them like literally only pants mainly mainly cargos mainly cargo pants I I can't I can't I can't see myself wearing shorts with Jordan ones I, I feel like that's just weird to me but yeah but yeah 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 that's injury that's injury now these right here if you guys been following me you guys know what shoes these are Can you check if these are real they are. Some people had some questions about these. Yes, these are reps. I admit it, I ain't gonna lie. Some of you little kids sitting behind the monitor typing right now are probably gonna get on my head in the comments. I don't care, these are the only reps that I have. Uh, I only, I barely ever wear them. This is why they're in like great condition. But yeah, uh, once again, <laughs> cry about it. <laughs> but yeah, cop these, cop these a year ago. Um, but yeah. My next pair of shoes are these Jordan 1. I'm, ooh, I don't know if these are royal blues or not. I think it's the other colorway of these. They're both blue, so who, who, who really cares? I think these are my favorite pair of Jordan 1s that I have. That's why they look so, you know, like worn out and crease and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I take care of my shoes, trust. I take care of my shoes, trust. Except my hoop shoes, those, all, most of those are just worn out. I do take good care of my shoes, they're like my babies and me, so. My next pair of shoes are these Yeezys right here. My mom got me these for Christmas. Um, shout out mom. I wore these like once or twice. Yeezys are probably like one of the most comfortable shoes that I've ever worn in my life. I really don't wear these like that unless I'm wearing like something cozy. My mom knows my style. My mom knows my style. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. My next pair of shoes are these Nike. I think they're called like I think they're called like undercover. On the box, it, it said this name called Jun Takahashi. I don't know like what that, who that is, uh, let me know. These are one of the shoes that I also barely wear. I've worn these shoes about like, probably like three to four times. I don't really wear them like that because sometimes they hurt my feet. The red and green colorway on this is pretty fire to me. I don't know, that, that, that's just me, I don't know, that's just me. The heel of it's pretty fire, it has this like, rug type feel on it it's pretty fine it's pretty fine next pair um 
This was also my pops shoe. I don't know the names of these foam posits. I have three pairs. This is the first one. I thought these were pretty fire. My dad gave these to me. Um, he used to he used to rock these a good amount, but they're in they're still in like great condition. See, you see how I take care. Of, I take great care of these shoes. Like my dad has had these shoes for years, years, bro. And they're in great condition. They're in great condition, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Ever since I've, ever since I moved in here, I've never really, I've never worn them. I've never worn them once. I don't wear most of my shoes. I usually only wear Crocs. Next pair of shoes. I received these for Christmas, about like one or two years ago. I used to love these back in the day. Like I, I would wear, I would honestly like my fit. I would wear all black and then these shoes. I used to think these were so fresh. The thing I hate about foam posits is that they're heavy. I'd probably say these are my favorite pair, just cause like, you know, the gold and black, that's pretty fire. My last pair of foam posits are these ones right here. This shoe gives me like elephant vibes. I don't know why. The bottoms are like red and pink. I don't I don't know what like, I don't know what color that is. I haven't worn these. I haven't worn any of my foam posits yet. I don't know. I don't know what outfit I can come up with to wear these. If you guys have an idea, let me know because I'm not really sure what to wear this with. All right, these are my Converse right here. Personally, my favorite pair of Converse. It has like the little design on like the bottom. Y'all can see it a little bit, the little dots. Um, I really fuck with that. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to plan outfits with this shoe. I I usually only wear like black or white with the shoe i personally would only wear these with with like jeans and like dress pants overall i think this is like my favorite pair of converse that i have i only wore these like once or twice i like to keep these clean bro i i, I love these bro what's up gago we gotta say to you <laughs> bro <laughs> my next shoes right here are these yeezy 350 uh, I'm gonna say zebra because they remind me of zebras. I don't remember when I got these, but I remember it was like one, or, it was like two years ago when I had these, and I I honestly forgot that I had these. I'm not gonna lie, because I haven't wore these in so long. You can tell by the bottom that I wore these a lot. It still looks like pretty cool, pretty wearable outside. The last pair of Yeezys are these. Yeezy 700s. These are the John Witherspoons. This is my favorite pair of Yeezys. I'm absolutely in love with these. I got these before I moved in this house. So it was like, it was like almost, it was like almost a year ago. As you could tell, I've wore these a, a good amount. I wear these a lot. I, I don't wear them that much like that anymore just because I like to change up like what I wear. I barely go out. I barely go outside anyways, so around the house, I just wear Crocs. These Converse right here, these are called the Not Chucks. Behind those Converse right here, these 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 come close. I wore these climbing up a mountain. I don't know why, don't ask why. We, we did it to take pictures, so it, it was worth it at the end of the day. Forgot that I had a white pair of these, but they're in my car. I just didn't, I, I really didn't feel like getting them. All right, let's move on to the hoop shoes. Let's start off with these. These Kyrie's right here. I bought these senior year for AAU, and I, I gotta tell you, these Kyrie's are the most comfortable basketball shoes I have ever worn. They gave me way more bounce, I'm not gonna lie. These these are bouncy, they have cushion. It's like, it's like playing with pillows on your feet. These are definitely my favorite pair of Kyrie's. Um, I wear it to the gym all the time, so. My next pair are these Greek Freaks. I don't know what number it is, but um, I got these Greek Freaks when I went to LA with Low Jake and Lursty. One day we were hooping and I didn't have shoes. So me and Jake went to the Nike store just to grab a pair of shoes. And I found these and they were the cheapest. They were like, they were like $30. So I just bought them. I actually love these shoes actually. Um, they're pretty comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, I felt pretty bouncy in these. I mess with the green and purple colorway. It reminds me of like, it reminds me of the Hulk a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like a monster when I wear these. I'm not gonna, I'm not even lying. They're not as comfortable as Kyrie's, but they, they're, they're up there. The next pair of shoes are these Kyrie Lows. These shoes had so much grip. I wore these ones to the ground. I got these 
for free from an AAU team for a tournament. I like wearing low tops when I play basketball sometimes. As you can tell, these are worn out to the ground. I wear these outside. These are my outside hoop shoes. Last but not least, my last pair of shoes are these white Air Forces. I wear these a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I wear these a lot, as you can tell. Yeah, you can't really tell, but in person, they're, they're pretty dirty. They're pretty beat up. Let me show you this side. They're pretty beat up. I actually get a pair every year. I get a pair every year. You, are, you always gotta get a new pair of Air Forces. These things get dirty pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. Especially if you're wearing them out. What's up, Gago? We gotta say the YouTube video. Cock, 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 cock. Bro! All right, now it's time to show you guys all my Crocs. I have about more than 15 pairs of Crocs. These are the most comfortable shoes that I've ever worn in my life. See all the gibbets on there? I have so many gibbets on these Crocs. Like, I'm a big fan of Crocs. Crocs, if you see this, sponsor your kid, bro. Starting off with these. These are like a, it's like a tie-dye kind of vibe. These are probably one of my favorites behind the Post Malone Crocs I have, which I'm about to show you right now. These are the Post Malone Crocs right here. I love that they're all pink and I love the little strap on the back, which is pretty fire. And I had put some gibbets on these. If y'all need gibbets, I got y'all. Me and my mom also sell gibbets if you guys want to cop. Next, I got these bad boys right here. These are the KFC fried chicken Crocs. As you can tell from the back, they're a little, it's a little beat up. It has, it has scratches and stuff on it, but you see the Kentucky fried chicken on it. There was a chicken leg croc charm, but I wore it one time and it just it just fell off and I lost it. Also, fun fact, when you first get these, they actually smell like chicken. Like, it's actually crazy. They don't smell like it anymore, obviously, but once, once they come in the mail, they smell like chicken, bro. Don't say ironic in the comments. Don't say, oh, very ironic coming from you. Leave me alone. Y'all are on my nuts now, bro. Y'all, y'all hop off, hop off, bro. All right, my next one are these black and white ones right here. I wear these a lot too. Um, just because they're black and white, you can just wear this with literally anything. I wear these mostly outside. Just like when I'm going to the, like the store or something. These right here, I, I think I've worn literally like once uh these are the fuzzy ones they're actually comfy you see the croc charms i'm telling you i will put you guys on i'll put the link in the description for the croc charms i got y'all these ones right here i forgot what what color would you call this bro i'm gonna call it slime green you know what i'm saying these shoes right here i got for christmas from a friend shout out diana i, I i'm telling you crocs i'm i'm in love with you pause Pause. Next pair are these orange ones. I've wore these to the ground, as you could tell by like the bot, as you could tell by the bottom and the front. I mostly wear Crocs. I I wear I wear all my Crocs, bro. I, I change the color of my Crocs every day. See the little Naruto gibbets. You see the Louis Vuitton. See, bro. I got y'all. I literally have every gibbet. I have every gibbet possible. Click the link in the description. All right, so those are all my shoes in my collection. Now let's move on to the hats. This right here is a Kirby hat that was designed by my man, Ashamad. This hat is probably like one of my favorite hats that I've received so far. I like that, look at the Kirby patch, bro. The next hat I have here, I got this for my birthday last year. Hey, uh, look at the badge, the badge is fine. Shout out Diana and Andrea, once again. Most of y'all seen this hat with the with the brown flannel that I used to wear all the time. It's a LA hat. I have a lot of I have a lot of LA hats and I have a lot of Yankees hats. This hat right here is my green and orange hat. You can see the orange brim with the nice green and orange patch on the side. I got this hat from Lids, I believe. Mostly all my hats are from Lids or I get them on a drop on a website. Sub Lids if um, if you're if you're also watching this video. Um, you could you could you could sponsor me if you if you if you want to if you want to of course the next hat right here i customize myself this is an angel's hat it's a red angel's hat uh, on the back on the back i have swaggy tab right here with the blue butterfly right here definitely my favorite hat right here yeah this this hat represents my style you know what i'm saying swaggy tab it's the reason why i'm swaggy tab i'm honestly in love with this hat right here just because I, I, I hella love Sonic, bro. This next hat is a Boston, this next hat is a Boston Red Sox hat. Um, 
One of the reasons why I like this hat is because the big letter B on the back. That was pretty clean and I like the brim of it. It says Red Sox right here. This is a regular gray uh, New York Yankees hat. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't go nowhere without a hat. So um, this is like, this is really like the go-to hat right here. And if I, if I gotta go somewhere, if I go to the store, if I go to the gas station, I grab this, this bad boy right here. All right, I have this purple one right here. This is also a New York Yankees hat. One of the reasons why I like this so much is because of the back. It says, I am, I am the beast. Big dog right here, I'm the beast. This right here is just an all black Yankees hat. This is also one of the go-to hats. Right here, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, the two hats? <laughs> My last hat is this Mexico hat right here. I've worn this hat like once or twice. See the patch right here. I thought it was pretty fire and has the back right here. All right, so that wraps it up for the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what other content you would want to see from me. I recently started doing mini vlogs, and I've honestly been in love with that because I can show off my outfits. I'm not gonna lie, recording this video, I was I was nervous. I was so nervous just because like I'm not really used to talking to the camera, so I'm trying to you know, get out of that. So y'all let me know how I did. All right, I'm out of here. Deuces.